Hey guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is George. In this video, we will learn how to use EOF distance sensor with ESP32 using MicroPython programming language. What I have here is a distance sensor module from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. This module contains VL53L0X time of flight sensor chip. EOF sensors uses light signal with the time of flight principle, which is the time it takes for the signal being sent before it bounces back to the sensor, while ultrasonic sensor like the HCSR04 uses sound signal. EOF provides faster reading and greater accuracy. It has four pins, namely GND for the ground pins, VCC for the supply voltage, SDA for the I2C serial data pin, and SCL for the I2C serial clock pin. To follow this demonstration, you will need an ESP32 development board to serve as the brain for the experiment, an ESP32 shield from Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit to extend ESP32 pins to pin headers for easy circuit connection, a 4-pin female-to-female DuPont jumper wires to attach the distance sensor to the ESP32 shield. And of course, the DOF distance sensor itself. I already have it set up in advance. I attach the DuPont jumper wires to the distance sensor by following the color coding, which is black for the ground, red for the VCC, yellow for the SDA pin, and white for the SCL pin. While the other end of the DuPont jumper wires is attached to the ESP32 shield by matching the colors of the wires to the colors of the pin headers, which is black to black, red to red, yellow and the following colors to the yellow pin headers. For this demonstration, I choose GPIO21 for the SDA pin and GPIO22 for the SCL pin. For the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. Now, in order to use the TOF distance sensor, we need an external driver library. Thankfully, Robert Matzner provided us on his GitHub. Just copy and paste this library, the VL53L0X.py, to Tony IDE, which I already did. Here. And save it to ESP32 MicroPython root directory by clicking the file menu, select save as, select MicroPython device, and save it as vl53l0x.py. I already saved it, so I will just click cancel. Now for example number one, let's explore the basics of communicating to the TOF distance sensor. It begins by importing the pin class from the machine module in order to access ESP32 pins. Then also import the I2C class from the machine module to create an I2C communication with the TOF distance sensor. Another import is the BL53L0X class from the BL53L0X driver library that we recently saved to the ESP32 MicroPython root directory. Then the I2C communication is instantiated to I2C port 0, which is this one, with SDA pin set to GPIO21 and SCL pin set to GPIO22. And name the object as I2C bus. And finally, create the VL53L0X object named TOF by using the I2C bus we created. Now, let me click the run button and let's use the REPL to communicate with the TOF distance sensor. We can enable or start the TOF by calling the start method, which is this one. TOF.start method. I'll paste it in the REPL and I will hit enter. 
Now, the TOF is now activated. In order to read the current TOF value being measured by the distance sensor, we will just use the read method. I will paste it in the repo and I will hit enter. And it reads 257 millimeter. That is the distance between the camera up to the distance sensor. I will read again and I will put my hand in between the distance sensor and I will hit enter again. And as you can see, it measures 70 millimeter. And to disable or stop the TOF, we just need to send the stop method. I will paste it in the repo and I will hit enter. Now the TOF is disabled. Now let's go to example number two. With example number two, let's see a simple application of the TOF distance sensor. This example demonstrates the park assistance function in the modern vehicle today, where there is a beeping sound which beeps faster when approaching an object. In our case, this example uses the onboard LED and not a buzzer. Let me click the stop button to terminate example number one. And I will click again the run button to execute example number two. Now, I will use my hand to simulate that we are approaching an object. And as you can see, it will blink faster and faster. And when I almost in the distance sensor, you can barely notice how the LED blinks. But when I go further, the blinking will slow down. This works by constantly reading the TOF distance sensor, hence it is inside the infinite loop while true. The distance that is measured here is used as an input for setting the interval between LED blinking so that when the measured distance is decreasing, the blinking or the delay between blinking of the LED gets smaller. That is the reason that the LED blinks faster and faster, as you can see. So that's pretty much of it. I hope you learned something from this. As always, the source code that is in here, including other information, can be found in the companion blog post for this video, attacktotinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless!